For today's video, I want to address the elephant in the room, the immortal sun machine gun from Trials of Osiris. Now, I know everybody over the previous weekend of Trials, about a week and a half ago, was at there, uh, this gun, and everybody was chasing a specific role. Uh, and it was the rangefinder target lock role. And if you could get the at that version, it was even better. But, <laughs> you know, I we are sort of in an SNG meta. But that doesn't really mean that you should play only SNGs. Uh, even if you don't like playing with them. That's not the case. Uh, yeah, the Immortal... Let's just get this straight. It is the best SNG in the game. There's no doubt about it. Um, yes, target lock uh, gives it a even uh, more forgiveness than any other SNG. Uh, but what really makes these things a monster is the stats. It can reach a range that no other SNG in the game can. Uh, and at the same time... It seems like so easy to use, right? Uh, I don't even, I don't even have the adept version. I have been playing with two roles I like. Uh, the first role that I got was a surplus target lock, and I thought that was a really good role. Uh, and then I got my second role, which was a range finder target lock. In the first gameplay. In this video, I'm actually using the surplus target lock, and it's actually pretty good. The SNG feels pretty, pretty stable and everything. Uh, but on the, but once I got the other one, Rage Finder, uh, I said, okay. So I see I have a little bit more range, but I can go lose a little bit of the rest of ability. And since I play on console, you do feel the stability drop a little more than you would on PC. Uh, but on PC, uh, you usually just focus on range. And I'm, go I'm, I'm not gonna lie, even if he, even if I'm feeling a little bit of stability loss, I am still going to play with the with the one with range finder just to have those extra meters of range for myself. Now. I did play a bunch with it, and I usually don't play with SMGs, other than when we have the that an S SMG, what's it called, the Shayura Strap, that I ha I happened to get a kill click roll. That's the only time I really went to play with it a bunch. And when we got the Iron Banner or the Multi Mag, uh, those are still pretty good SMGs, but. This one outclasses that in range alone. Now, Bungie, in the most recent patch notes, did state that they were going to address the Ikelos and the Taraba. Uh, but they did not say anything about the Immortal, <laughs> which is kind of crazy. Uh, however, they did mention uh, that they were going to uh, uh, n fix target lock because there was a bug that when you miss a shot with a gun that shoots as fast as the immortal, oh, basically over 720 RPM, uh, target lock was not deactivating when the people were missing a shot, so it was giving a little bit more forgiveness than it should. Now, that is not going to do much uh, f to stop people from using this SMG right now because it's not being addressed. Uh, it's still going to be a monster. Now, they did say that they were going to uh, address all the 750 SNGs uh, on the next season, but that's like, what, 50 something days away? <laughs> so... For this entire season, you should expect to see a lot of Immortals. Because uh, literally, it's going to be the S best SNG in the game anyway. Uh, now, now, I'm not saying that you should hop into Trials 
to get the SMG if you are not somebody that likes to play PvP. But they, I mean, there is a role you you can hunt for PVE, which is pretty good. And I thought, look, I thought that the new Muna uh, SMG was pretty good because, and I even took it to trials and played with it of quite a few games. Uh, I actually have a few videos with it uploaded, but those were not. Those don't even compare. That one doesn't even compare to this SNG, and I have used it both in PVE and PVP. Uh, it is, I mean, for some reason the the new Muna SNG tends to. I don't know, flinch a lot to me compared to the Immortal. I feel like the Immortal, even through through flinch, you're able to land out your shots. While the new Moon one, like, you feel like you're missing. Like, and if you were to go with somebody using the Immortal, uh, and you using the new Moon, unless, uh, unless uh, you, you are better skilled at the game in PvP than that other person, Nine times out of ten, that person's gonna win with their mortal. Now, similar skill levels. If you put two people with similar skill levels, then more than likely the one with the mortal is gonna win almost every single time. Now, now, you know, do you need to use it? Now, what are you saying? Do I have to use an SNG, an Immortal now every time I go on PvP now? No, that's not what I'm saying. There is a lot of things you can do uh, you, to to avoid getting melted <laughs> by an SNG. So you can play at a, outside the range of the SNG. You can use a sidearm that has a, a slightly better time to kill. Uh, looking at Dran. And the new SNG that came back, well, n not new, but new perks uh, that came out that you can get via the Nightfall. I forgot the name, uh, but that one can also kill in a little faster than the Immortal. Now, the Immortal is going to outrange you. Now, there are other things you can do. You cannot just go to rely that. <laughs> if you don't want to stay outside the range, just sh Play with a shotgun, play with a fusion rifle. A lot of times, what I will do, I will use my fusion rifle against somebody that is using the immortal against me. Uh, I will make sure I get them, or I will use a shotgun, depending on how good a player they are. Uh, the, I mean, under all this SNG, there is also, I believe it's called the Borrow Time from uh, Gambit. That can reach almost the, almost the same range as the Immortal. Now, uh, now nobody wants to play Gambit. I get it. I I, I hate going into that <laughs> into that game mode myself. But you know, if you're at the an SNG and you really don't want to get into trials, that's an option. Uh, and if you have a craft that I kill as SNG, that's also an option. There is also oh oh well see, you see that, that gameplay the the range I got that guy at the end uh, that was pretty good either way my my the whole point of this video is that if there are ways to can counter the 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 SMG don't think like you're missing out or anything there is always another gun that you can play like. Oh, recently on PvP, what I have started doing, which I'm going to upload the video, I started playing with a rapid fire, uh, the Atom win, and I, I'm not gonna say I'm beating an SNG every time, but I, I even my odds, uh, and I have more range, right? So it is just a matter of how you like to play the game. You don't necessarily have to use the SMG, the Immortal. I have tons of videos that I've been using a slow firing gun. I've been using the Hunt Jury in trials against people with SMGs. And I will take advantage that I outrange them. And if they get close to me, I'm going to I'm going to take advantage of my fusion rifle. 
Uh, it's just a matter of how you play. Don't 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 go by all the videos claiming, hey, if you didn't have this, you're gonna be in, tr in trouble. That's not true. There's always a gun in Destiny that you can use to <laughs> to basically do whatever you need to do, right? Uh, no, as you know, I don't I don't really want to keep going with this. But just 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 make sure if you're going to, to try to get this gun, you do it for fun. I'm sure uh, if you level, uh, I think it's level 10, that you can unlock a roll still if you're going to trials this weekend. So you can unlock your roll and then you can uh, focus the anchor to try to get yourself a better, better roll. I don't know myself if I'm going to go after the adept version. If I do, I do. Uh, but I, I don't... I don't feel the need. If I have gone against people with the immortal at that version. Yeah, they have a little bit more range than me, but other than that, I, you know, the difference is not that much to me. But we will see. It, it, it all depends. It all depends, you know. Now, I don't know how significantly Bungie is going to nerf these things. But when they do, uh, you know, who knows? Maybe another another SMG will take the reins. But I think I have said enough in this uh, for this. So, I mean, I hope you found this video informative. And if you enjoyed the video, I, I please thank you if you like it. Uh, thank you, and I'll see you next time.